Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. So what are the messages from my viewers please, Spirit? <clears throat> what does this person want them to know? This... <laughs> Okay, so there's a card in this deck and it says, I've been so patient. And that's what I heard when this came out. And that's going to make you laugh because many of you are saying, are you kidding? How are they telling me they have been so patient? But this is what's coming through. Your person is saying they've been patient. They're tired of waiting. You might be thinking, what a cheek. I've been patient. Yeah, they're saying, okay, it's time, I'm restless, I want to take action. Um, that's all very well, but there is still something they need to see, something they need to decide, something they need to do. <clears throat> yeah, see, a decision that needs to be made with judgment. Okay, so they've waited so long that this opportunity has either passed, or they think it's passed, or they're wondering, they're worrying, is it going to pass? So if you have wondered, does my person know um, that there are feelings here? Do they feel the same? Yes, absolutely. If you're in a relationship with your person, there is a way in which they're keeping things from going from progressing they're trying to keep a hold on how this relationship unfolds so it's like they could be showing you more emotion for example or you could be doing more things together or there's something in particular they're avoiding um but they they know whatever your situation your person understands the feelings here they might be saying, I've been too patient. You know, it crossed over into just a complete lack of action. So what's the message? What other messages, please? We've got Aquarius energy here and Virgo. Yeah, they're absolutely tired. If you're in no communication or very little, they want to come forward. They want to talk. They want to reconnect, to speak a truth. This decision they've got to make, they're feeling a little bit... Um, afraid actually of making it they're feeling like they're lacking some kind of guidance here so we'll come back and see what's going on but it's like okay here comes another example you know how i love my weird examples <laughs> so let's say um i'm running down the road and i've decided i want to stop running i'd like to start skipping i have to make a decision to stop running i can't do both but i try to skip before I finished running and then I trip over. It's like your person's got to stop something, change something before they take this action that they're impatient to take, but they haven't finished, they haven't made this decision, they haven't changed whatever they need to change. So there's a, a, this building frustration for both of you. Temperance, yes, exactly. Here's this frustration. Here's this feeling of imbalance. And temperance upright is a card of patience. They're saying, no, no more patience. It's time now. And you're saying, fantastic. But then spirit's saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's time, but you need to fix this. You need to, to deal with this first. The magician, Gemini energy. It's really interesting. The major arcana we have here is in the reverse. So is your person bogged down, weighed down with small things, very everyday 3D concerns? And the hanged man, another major arcana in the reverse. There's some sort of blockage here. And I do feel, really, this two of swords is kind of an inconspicuous card, but it's causing a hold up here. You're impatient. Your person's impatient. Um, not that you're impatient. Maybe you're just tired of waiting, but your person certainly is impatient. And they're saying they want to move forward, but at the same time, the magician in reverse. They might be doing a good job of showing that they're empowered, they have everything they need, they don't really believe it. The truth is they do have everything they need, but they've got to make some sort of a decision first. So your person's message is, let's do this, let's make it happen now, I'm tired of watching you from afar, um, I don't want to rest, I don't want to delay anymore, I don't want to disappoint you, I don't want to disappoint myself, I don't want to miss out on any more opportunities here. And they're trying to come towards you, 
but it's like spirit saying well that's not going to work you know you have to cut off whatever this is first Hmm. Okay. Again, it's the same thing. If you're in a relationship already, you know, even if you live together, it's time for your relationship to progress, to move forward, um, to intensify in some sort of way. And your person's saying, great, let's do it. But there's something they need to look at, something they need to address first. Okay, so let's have a look at this Two of Swords. Oh. My cards have gone everywhere. Yeah, it's like this is a messy situation for them. It's a messy problem that they've got to confront. And they're saying, let's not deal with that. Let's just let's just leave that behind. But it's something that's got to be dealt with. Okay, well, can you tell us about this Two of Swords, please? I keep looking at this moon and thinking of Pisces. Um, so someone might be dealing with a Pisces as well. We have strength. Leo. So they do have the strength to do this. The Emperor, I mean, look, this is perfect. This is someone who is very empowered, very confident. Your person might not see it yet. You see how the sun is hidden behind the moon. They don't know their own um, ability here. No wonder they're feeling impatient. You know, it's like an emperor sitting down knowing exactly what he wants um, and feeling like he can't have it. No one tells an emperor, no, you can't. You have, <laughs> you have to sit down and wait. Okay, anything else, please, about this Two of Swords? See, look, the Seven of Pentacles. The Emperor has literally been waiting. You have been waiting for the Emperor. And with the Seven of Coins in reverse, they're saying, it's enough. You know, I'm not waiting anymore. This is ridiculous. I want to move forward. But there's something they've got to... And, it, it, you know, it might not even be that significant because the Two of Swords, minor arcana, strength, the Emperor, major arcana, so it trumps the Two of Swords. Um... It's just something they've got to face. It doesn't mean it's going to be overwhelming. When we get the strength card, even if the devil card was to come out, which is extremely difficult, extremely sticky, low vibrational, your person could deal with it. So this is nothing, but they do have to, they still have to deal with it, even though it's small, even though at this point it's possibly just an annoyance. It has to be faced and released. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So whatever this is, is keeping the situation stuck. Now, it could be that your person feels that this is bigger than it is because in the past it was, but your person has grown. They're more aware, they have more knowledge, they have more resources, they're in a better position, they have more confidence. So now it's not an overwhelming thing. Mm, but they won't know it until they revisit it, if you see what I mean. Okay, yeah, did you see this? Try to pop out the Six of Swords. They've got to leave something behind. It could be a something, it could be a someone. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse, please. The Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups Reverse. Yeah, what are they holding on to that really needs to be left in the past? Some sort of established foundation, a job, um, you know, whatever it is, it's something tangible. It's something that's already manifested and it's not really enough. You know, this is the card of, this is the miser card, but they're not holding on to it intentionally anymore. They're holding on to it because they don't think they can release it. And in the past, like I said, maybe they weren't strong enough, but now they are. Now they, they're actually the magician in the upright. They have everything they need. Mm, that's really interesting. Let's see why your person feels hopeless then. Not hopeless, but, you know, they're not feeling like they know how to do this necessarily. Tell me about the star. Yeah. Wow, okay. We have Aries and Libra as well. Lots of people are showing up today, lots of energy. So they've got to, yeah, they've got to deal with something in a correct way before they can take this leap of faith with you. And you see how the fall, taking this... This opportunity, this new beginning is coming before 
the resolution of this old thing and spirits say no no it has to be this way and this way there will be no obstacles ahead of you it, it won't be a confusing path ahead it will be clear so they're kind of jumping the gun a little bit there's also a message you know they want to speak with you they want to reconnect with you even if it's in a small way for now they're saying enough I'm at you know I'm just done I'm tired of waiting and you probably feel the same the seven of wands maybe someone here is blocked and you might be saying well if they block me I don't what's the problem unblock me then if you're tired of waiting you know um but yeah they're saying look it's stuck we're not speaking this isn't my wish I'm holding on to something that I don't want anymore and you can see the Wheel of Fortune poking out. It's time to get moving. The Eight of Pentacles, it's time to actually, you know, start working and seriously investing in this connection. Wow, okay. So really, a real focus on manifesting this, making it something really tangible, not, not sort of emotions here, but something they can tell people about, you know, something they can show people. Again, if you're already in union, if you're in a relationship, they want to step things up a notch, but there is something they've got to release. Um, there's something they've got to release first. For some of you, a smaller group, it could be a mindset. What I'm seeing for most of you though, is it something, you know, out in the world, something other people can see, touch, and um, that sort of thing. Okay, let's get a few of these cards and see what's going on. Any more detail? Um, for some reason, I'm hearing Hogwarts. So maybe um, something to do with Harry Potter, um, witchcraft. Uh, I don't know. Take that if it resonates. Okay, so can we get any more insight into this situation, please? What are the messages for my viewers from their person? A farewell. Yes, and you see, I wasn't intending to read this in the reverse, but as it's come out in the reverse, I'll just hold up so you can see. This is the thing, your person's got to send something off, release something, let something go, and it won't be hard, not, not anymore, but it's still around. Okay, so that's got to go, definitely. Okay, on the back, on the back, on the floor, hard times, again, came out in the reverse. Whatever this was, it would have been difficult for your person to release in the past. When your person was thinking about this situation or this mindset or whatever it was before, it was difficult. You know, they thought, oh, I have to choose between this and my, you know, you, the viewer, I have to choose between this lifestyle and a new lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's, it's impossible. I cannot make the decision. And then they stopped thinking about it. And then we got delays, poor communication, not moving forward as, as smoothly as you could have. Spirit saying, in the meantime, they've grown, they've developed, they have new ideas, they have more resources, everything I said before. So if they were to, to revisit this, to think about this again, it wouldn't be as much of a struggle as it was before. Okay, anything else, please? Happy times, and this is in the upright, exactly. This is what they're heading towards. This is what they want with you, happy times. So it could be this real feeling of frustration at this delay, at how slowly things are going, is going to prompt them to think, you know what, surely nothing can be worse than, than how long this is taking. Let me revisit this situation. And then they'll realize, oh, okay, you know, now I finally have inspiration. Now I can see how I can um, move things forward. Okay, so um, let's do these messages. Okay, so can we get some messages, please, directly from this person to my viewer? person they have in mind <clears throat> I care too much about what others think right now so maybe this was the problem what others would think of them how they would be perceived I just you know if your person stopped for a moment and really thought about it they would realize it's so much less important than it was before
yeah, my family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realise. So I really feel throughout your person's life, it may have been that their family had a big influence or friends or they really cared about their image and they've not stopped to think about it and realise that they don't care so much anymore. They've got this new resolve, this new confidence. They feel empowered. It doesn't matter that they get other people's um, approval. And I feel all they have to do at this point is realise that that's their truth now. Okay, we have lying. Gosh, can you see this? Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. Yeah. So the lie was that, you know, they don't want to talk to you. They're not interested. Um, they don't feel the same because it, it was safe. It kept things as they were. Okay, any other messages? Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. So maybe they felt that you um, were moving a bit quickly for them. Perhaps you didn't have the same fear about what other people would think or you were more in tune with this connection before they were. This isn't true anymore because your person wants to race ahead, you know, at the speed of light. Because, they're, you know, as I keep saying, they don't want any more delays. They, they've waited long enough. You've waited long enough. That in the past they really dragged their feet i can't yeah i can't take this anymore this slow moving energy i'm sick of it i'm hearing i'm hearing they're watching you they're watching you from the sideline and they can't take this anymore watching you and not speaking with you or moving things forward yeah i can't seem to find the right words to say to you so this is the thing they want to speak with you they don't want to watch you quietly anymore. They see other people speaking with you. They want to be one of those people. But what do they say? I'm reminded of you constantly. Exactly. So these delays, just it just feels like torment to them now. And there's, it's not that they're putting this on you saying, why don't you hurry things up? It's, it's not that at all. It's, they might be blaming circumstances or they might just be thinking, why have I been, I heard the word absent, that's not what I was going for, why have I been absent so long, why have I been, um, you know, just dormant for so long? Okay, um, yes, let's finish with these. So, final messages please, messages, direct messages from this person to my viewer, what do they want from my viewer to know for this week, please? Do you feel the same? Yeah, I mean, has it been so long that you've moved on? Did I miss this opportunity? Or do you still feel the same? Maybe they want to ask you this and that's why they can't find the words because um, it's difficult. Maybe they don't really even want to know the truth just in case you don't feel the same. They could be afraid. Okay, what messages please from this person to my viewer? This is just lust. And this is what I feel they told themselves in the past, you know, as they were trying to pull away, as they were afraid of how maybe intense this connection felt. Um, and they could be wondering now, do you, have you decided, you know, this is never going to become anything, let, let me write this off, maybe it was just lost, maybe I was wrong about this intense connection that we have. This is what they're wondering now. <laughs> because you see, now they understand that they feel the same as you. And I said that right at the start with that Ace of Cups, they feel the same. And now they're wondering, did I wait too long? Do you feel the same? <laughs> okay. Sexual release. So, okay, so some of them have got this built up passion for you and they would love some kind of sexual release with you. The others of you, especially with the Lust card, this might be the energy you got from them predominantly, you know, um, passion, lust, sexuality, but never anything that felt more stable, more um, committed, nothing deeper. Um, and I think they, they might, not that they regret being this way with you, because this is still part of your connection, but they want you to know it's not just this. It's not just lust, as they may have tried to make you believe in the past. We have too good to be true. This was probably a fear before, but also they look at you and they're saying, how do you even exist? I mean, 
you know, if I made a list of all the qualities I wanted my person to have, you have those and you probably have more that they didn't even consider. You challenge them, you help them to grow. And this is all in many cases from a distance, you know, they watch you, you, you inspire them. Yeah, see, <laughs> this always gives me the creeps a bit, this card. I followed you, but you didn't realize. So this could be, they quite literally followed you in their car, you know, down the road. It could be that they have followed you on social media and they're under an account and you don't know it's them because it's a fake account or something like that. But um, they've been around, shall we say, a lot more than you maybe have known. Okay, let's see if there are any other messages. We have date night, so, you know, they just want to go on a very simple, uncomplicated date with you. Um, to go for dinner, to have some drinks, um, maybe to watch something, you know, like a movie, to go to the theatre, something like that. Um, yeah, they just, you know, something very simple. It's, it's not complex, it's just two people who like each other, have a connection, and they go out because they want to be around each other more and to develop um, this connection. And if, again, if you're already in a relationship, it's like maybe bringing in um, some lighthearted energy, bringing, bringing back some fun. Okay, so can we get some final messages, please? Okay. You're my secret. Yes, so there is something about this that is a secret. Maybe your whole connection is a secret. And that's what I'm saying. They're tired of all of this. They just want this to be, to feel easier, to feel more regular, to be able to say to people, on Friday night, I'm going out with so-and-so. You know, they're ready to take that step now. Yeah, I imagine spending time with you. Exactly. And it's uncomplicated. That's what they want now. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this helped. I hope you got something out of this. On Friday, I will be looking at what's hidden. So anything you don't know um, on your side, their side, it could have already have manifested in the 3D. It could be coming in from the 5D. Um, yeah, so we'll have a look. Now I'm going to do the one question, um, one card reading. So let me pause and we will come back for that. If you want to leave a question down below in the comments, then please do and I will enter you for the uh, draw on Friday. And you know, if you want to see how I choose a winner, the footage will be at the end of this video. But let me pause, like I said, uh, and come back. Okay, so Carolyn Morgan, thank you so much for your question. So let's have a look. Spirit, can you tell us what was the intention of CMB in buying a bike for Carolyn's son? What was this person's intention? What was their true intention in buying this bike? Oh, okay. We've got the higher... Of oh, okay. I feel the intentions were good. This person wants to... Hmm, it depends how you feel about this person. This person wants to... Um, to become a part of your life, your life, your son's life, in a really uh, long lasting, committed, serious way. I heard the word integral. So this person wants to present themselves to you, not just with the bike, but in general, as a stable figure, someone who is committed to you, um, you know, the Hierophant, they could be looking for a relationship, eventually a marriage with you perhaps. Um, and the Seven of Wands in reverse, this, this was a kind, gesture, maybe even trying to break down some of your defences if you're very guarded, um, if they're guarded, trying to do a nice thing. Um, but yeah, trying to bring in some some softer energy. And I, you know, this, this person with the Hierophant, they're not sort of um, messing with you or messing with your son, you know, because with children, it's really, oh, sorry, important. Um, that, that people aren't around that are going to be in and out and they're trying to show you they're someone you can depend upon. Um, they take you seriously, they want you to take them seriously, they want to be a part of your foundation moving forward or if they were in the past they would like to to become um, a serious part of your life again. So I don't think you've got anything to worry about there. The only thing I would say in terms of worrying is if you don't feel the same, if you don't, you know, if you don't really want this person around because they intend to be around for a long time in a big way. Okay, so I hope that helped. I'll leave it here. Um, thank you, everyone. Take care and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.